Everything Dinosaur, in collaboration with our chums at Collector, have announced the second batch of new for 22 prehistoric animal models. One is a cool prehistoric cephalopod, the other a model of a late Triassic predator from Poland. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's video we'll be looking at the second batch of new for 2022 prehistoric animal models from Collector. Now we know that Collector will be making fewer model introductions in 2022 than they did this year. After all, we are in a global pandemic and times are tough. But we want at Everything Dinosaur to pay tribute to our chums at Collector for all their hard work. We're really excited about the next two models we can talk to you about and we're really looking forward to explaining some of the science behind these amazing creations. So, after the obligatory request to subscribe to our channel, we'll crack on. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. The first model we're going to take a look at is the Collector Deluxe 1-20 scale Schmock Wawelski. Fans of the Collector model range will recall that in 2020 a 1-20 scale replica of the giant Dicynodont Lysovicia was introduced. The bone bed close to the village of Lysovicia in Silesia, southern Poland, from which the Lysovicia fossils were excavated, also revealed the presence of a 5 metre plus archosaurian carnivore. The first fossil evidence of this large predator, consisting of skull bones and some postcranial material, was discovered in 2007, and when a preliminary description was published a year later, along with details of the giant Dicenodon fossils, which were to lead to the naming of Lysovicia, it was thought that this meat-eater was a dinosaur. The brain case was similar to that seen in Allosaurids, hence the early classification of Schmock as a biped, it being regarded as a theropod dinosaur. In truth, the fossil material assigned to Schmock, which probably represents two individual animals, demonstrates a diverse range of characteristics, some similar to theropod dinosaurs, whilst other traits are reminiscent to those seen in the bones of animals from the non-bird, non-dinosaur branch of the Archosauria, the crocodile lineage, known as the Pseudosuchia. Which branch of the Archosaur family tree Schmock belongs to remains uncertain. The design team at Collector have chosen to follow the Pseudosuchian train of thought, with their figure resembling a Prestosuchid. The Collector Deluxe Schmock Wawelski might be on all four legs, but the hind legs are bigger than its front legs, hinting at the idea that it could, if it wanted to, rear up and walk on just its back legs. Having the choice to walk on two legs is called facultative bipedalism. Apes can do this, so can bears. Whatever its taxonomic classification, Schmock was a formidable carnivore, the largest terrestrial predator known from the late Triassic of Central Europe. The Collector Deluxe Schmock Wawelski measures an impressive 27 centimeters in length and those raised prominent osteoderms over the hips are some 8.5 centimetres off the ground. Named in honour of the dragon of Lysovitsia, a monster from Polish mythology, coprolites, that's fossil poo, found in association with schmock bones, reveal that this carnivore was an apex predator, feeding on just about anything and everything in its ecosystem with the exception of fully grown Lysovicia, which were probably invulnerable to attack. 
However, Schmock had a powerful bone-crushing bite. Indeed, the coprolites revealed that it consumed a lot of bone. It would have had no trouble tearing apart the carcass of an adult Lysovicia. The Collector Deluxe model has been given an articulated jaw, and it's going to be wonderful to be able to display this new Schmock figure alongside the Collector Lysovicia as they will scale up nicely. The other model that we at Everything Dinosaur, in collaboration with Collector, have announced is this beautiful replica of the Paleozoic nautiloid Cuparoceras, a spiky cephalopod distantly related to living nautilus, such as the pearly nautilus that Collector introduced a model of last year. The genus and the type species Cuparoceras texanum was erected by the American geologist and Permian cephalopod expert Arthur K. Miller in 1945. Miller was given the opportunity to study fossils collected from the Glass Mountains and the Sierra Diablo of western Texas. The aim had been to plot and map the diversity of nautiloids found in these Permian deposits. Ammonites from these strata have been extensively researched and documented, but the nautiloids that coexisted with them have been virtually ignored. Using a technique whereby the limestone nodules containing the fossils were slowly dissolved away using very dilute hydrochloric acid, the researchers were able to reveal the curved and paired hollow spines that ran along the keel of the shell. The function of these spines remains unclear. They could have been defensive structures, or possibly they demonstrated the animal's fitness for breeding, or its maturity. The collector Cuparoceras model measures 11 centimetres long, and that exquisitely designed shell stands some 8.3 centimetres high. It's approximately a life-size replica which means it's in one-to-one -one scale. Collector have produced several models of important Paleozoic invertebrates in recent years, many of which represent important zonal fossils that help scientists with the relative dating of geological strata. This method of using fossils to identify the relative age of strata is called biostratigraphy. Cuparoceras fossils are known from Texas, Illinois and the Ural Mountains and they may have been of limited use to geologists when it comes to relative dating but it's great to see Collector adding a replica of this bizarre nautiloid to their model range and Everything Dinosaur has already been contacted by paleontologists and museum curators wanting to use the Collector Cuparoceras model to help illustrate fossil displays. That's the second set of new for 2022 collector models introduced. Now we expect to have these products in stock sometime in early 2022. How early? We can't say at this stage. Global logistics, well, it's in a bit of a mess. But we will keep model collectors and dinosaur fans informed by putting up regular posts on Everything Dinosaur's social media pages. So, sometime in 2022, Everything Dinosaur will be stocking a 1 to 20 scale Collector Deluxe Schmock Vavelski and the fabulous mollusk model Cuparoceras. With the introduction of Cuparoceras, it's another fabulous invertebrate figure in the collector range. Which brings us to this, our question of the day. What other prehistoric invertebrate would you like collector to make a model of? Would you go all out for Arthropleura? Or maybe a giant Camaroceras replica? Or perhaps a model of a sea scorpion, like Terry Gotus. Let us know your views in the comments section down below. 
and then we'll pass your feedback on to our chums at Collector. So there you have it, our lowdown on the second set of Collector prehistoric animal models due to be introduced in 2022. We'll post up a third video in this series in about a week's time, providing you with exclusive details of the next prehistoric animal model from Collector to be introduced. We will be making more figure announcements in the next few weeks, and we suggest that you check out Everything Dinosaur on social media so you can be kept up to date with all the new model introductions. In the meantime, we'll put up a link to the Collector Prehistoric Life part of our website and the Collector Deluxe pages of our website too, in the video description down below. So you can take a look at these ranges and perhaps if you want to, pick up a model or two. We will also put a link in the video description below to our blog post which provides more details on the Schmock Bavelski model and the Cooperaceras replica. The Everything Dinosaur blog is jam-packed full of articles on paleontology, prehistoric animals, dinosaurs, hints and tips on model collecting, and we heartily recommend it to you. On that note, I'll say I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Don't forget to subscribe to Everything Dinosaur on YouTube. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you.